everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making Mediterranean chicken with a sour cream tzatziki and a homemade flatbread. If you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Starting off with our Mediterranean chicken, all we need is all of these ingredients placed into a Ziploc bag, marinating up to overnight if you'd like. I mean, this is just a great make ahead meal. You can do this in advance and just have your freezer prepped meals ready for the week if you'd like. This is just so easy. I am using a Greek seasoning. If you don't have that, just use salt and pepper in place of it. This is the same amount, about two teaspoons worth. Just combine all of your ingredients, making sure you get all that air out of the bag and just massage everything in. And then we're just gonna keep doing this for a few minutes and set it aside in your refrigerator or your freezer whenever you're gonna make this. Now moving on to our flatbread. This is using gluten-free flour, but you can use all-purpose regular flour if you'd like. You don't need yeast, you don't need a lot of anything really, it's just minimal ingredients to combine and put all this together. I'm just gonna use clean hands and start mixing this up. And you're gonna be kneading this for, hmm, I'd say a good five minutes total, and that was it. But just mix everything inside of your bowl first, and once you've got everything pretty much all meshed together, we're gonna take it out and put some flour right onto our board. Not too much flour, I think I overdid it. But just put your dough right on top and just knead it for a few minutes. You'll see I started off with one hand and then I decided I should do two. So I started kneading with two hands, and this is really easy to do actually. It's not hard at all to touch. It'll be very soft and malleable when you're kneading your dough. Of course, if you're not gonna do this part, you can skip this and just buy pita red to make everything easier for you. But this is here just in case anybody wants to try making these at home. But once you're done, just set this aside for 30 minutes. It can actually sit in the fridge for about three days. As for the tzatziki, I love using sour cream with this. If you wanna use Greek yogurt, you can, but my personal preference is using sour cream. I just think it tastes better. But I've got my cucumber here and I'm just gonna mince these up into small pieces and once that's done, I'm gonna put it inside the bowl with the sour cream. Continuing with my garlic and my lemon juice and some salt to taste. Just give this all a good mix until you get the consistency where everything's combined and you're gonna just love this recipe. All right, it's been about eight hours and the beauty about this is that you can do this right on the grill pan, on a regular frying pan, on top of your grill outside, or you can bake this in the oven. And if you don't have a lid for your grill pan or your pan, just go ahead and throw an aluminum foil right on top to help cover it up and cook through in between. The chicken should be done in about 15 minutes. And when that's done, let's go ahead and start with our bread. As you see here, I'm just making preparations to try to equally divide this up into four parts. And once I have everything separated, I'm going to just make little balls and see if they're all equal sizes. If they're not, I'm just gonna pull it apart and just adjust it so I can make sure they're about the same size. Once you have that done, set everything aside and use one at a time. Now I misplaced my rolling pin, I have no clue where it is, so I just used some saran wrap on top of a wine bottle and I honestly believe this works better than my rolling pin. But just roll it out and you'll notice with gluten-free flour, it's happened to me every single time, I cannot get the perfect round shape. It might work better with regular flour, but with gluten-free flour, it's just a little bit different, but it still tastes amazing. So continue rolling it until you get, uh, you'll see it when I start, when I'm done rolling, but you'll see how thin it is. And that's about how you want it. Now go ahead and heat up your pan, throw a little bit of olive oil on there, and then your bread. And we're gonna cook this until it bubbles up. And once you see it bubbling up, we're going to go ahead and flip it, and you're gonna see that it's brown underneath. This is the look that you want so you know that it's done. You'll be cooking it about a minute and a half on the first side, and then about another minute on the second side. And we're gonna continue doing this for the rest of our breads. You can see it in the other one, so I showed this one here, but you see the bubble? That's when you know it's time to flip it. Now the great thing about this bread is that you can, again, you can make this in advance, you can make plenty, and they will freeze nicely. These are a great addition to curry or just making flatbread sandwiches. I mean, they're amazing. I've tried to make these ahead of time, but my family just eats them all, so there's no way I could do that. But I just love how flexible they are. Look at this, it's amazing. 
All right, I've plated my dish with some couscous, the chicken, the flatbread, my tzatziki, a salad with the balsamic vinegar we just made. If you guys like this recipe, please hit subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.